Hello and welcome to Board Stupid. My name's Wayne. And I'm Matt. And look what we have here. It's oh. finally here. It's finally arrived. The pain Matt. is over. The pain is over. <laughs> I thought it was never going to happen. Good grief. So what are we even looking at, Matt? What are we looking at? We got the collector edition of Robinson Cruz. And um, tell us a little bit about the struggle about this game. <laughs> I'll tell you about uh, my struggles. So with Robinson Crusoe, uh, this particular remake of this game, um, I backed this on the 1st of September. No, I not even backed it. My, my, game, my pledge manager was completed yeah. on the 1st of September 2021. So it's been, what, almost three years? Yeah, like, exact, yeah. almost exactly two and a half two years. Two and a half years. Uh, this game ran into tons of production problems, mostly, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, around rule books, language editions, the format of that, how that was going to work, uh, and various proofreading issues and then quality control problems as well, all related to that. But, and it just, yeah. Yeah, that probably it could be expected for um, a new publisher, a new yeah. designer, a new entirely game. But this is a game from what? 2012. 2012. So it's a, it's a 12 years old that this, uh, this year yeah. <laughs> game. So that the game should have been ready. And yeah, of course, um, uh, I guess rules is uh, like a 1.5. Um, yeah, two, update for yeah. everything. Yeah. And, all and all the production, the yeah. minis, and the yeah. and all the printing. But two and a half years. That's yeah. a long old time. <laughs> and especially when the estimate was basically like one year or less, I think. I yeah. think it was even meant to be the same year. No, I could be wrong about that. I'll double check on it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, it was a blooming long time. And I can understand why people are upset because, as you said, Matt, this game existed. <laughs> yeah. It already existed yeah. in some form or other. This wasn't brand new. But regardless of that, Portal kept everyone up to date um, and they've pushed forward and it is now in our hands. And we're going to do a little unboxing for you. So you yeah, can check we're this gonna, out. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the game. It's been off years. I don't even know what's stuff. in it. <laughs> and uh, the, the original game, let's not say the original game mm. uh, is... Uh, it's a great game. It's a um, legendary game. So uh, it's very highly rated, and that's why when the collector edition came out, everybody jumped on board. Um, I saw something that I don't really like. There's been a lot of uh, review bombing yeah. around. Yeah. Um, it doesn't help the game. If the game is good, it's good. Like take it with the publisher, probably. That <laughs> it's, it's there. It's more there. Yeah. Okay. Than that. So if we got the game itself, hundred percent. That drives me insane. I don't know why people do that. <laughs> you, your internet, you are so weird. Uh, but this game is an amazing game. If you look at the original version on BGG, it's got like great ratings, 7.8, something like that. Mm. Uh, this one is like a 6 or less because it's been basically bombed into oblivion by people who are upset about their delivery. And there is no excuse for that. I mean, the game is yes. the game. It's, it's got, sad, this is, yeah. if anything, a better version of no. that game. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But as you say, Matt, let's talk about this game a little bit, shall we? Yeah. So this game is a cooperative survival game set on the cursed island that you are going to be stranded on and you're going to be playing one of four different roles, either the, uh, the sailor, I think the soldier, the cook, and someone else, uh, to survive uh, and uh, one of the nasty, deadly scenarios that the game gives you. And this game is legendarily difficult. Yep. It's and, very uh, punishing. What, what do I like about cooperative games? Yeah, oh, they've been punishing. Being really <laughs> punishing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I want, and that's what I've got, hopefully. And the theme is well. Perfect. Um, Great. Hope you all read the book when you were a kid. If yep. you didn't, so you did. Do it because it's probably yeah, one of the best adventure game, adventure books ever ever written. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it's basically the theme and the game's core hand in hand and that yep. is something that we really We always like. love that. That yeah. theme gameplay interaction is always uh, high on our agenda when we look for games. And this looks like it might be one of those. And I can't wait to dig into this, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, all right. Wayne has been waiting for a few days now because the so box I, has arrived. I haven't, I haven't taken and, the cellophane and, off, yeah. I've been waiting. And oh. I was like, wait. <laughs> Uh, also filming let, let's, let, let, let's do let's do a video about it. So exactly. here we are. All right, count to three, and then we start. Okay. All right. All right. One, One, two, two three. three. Go.
Are you happy now? I'm very happy. <laughs> I'll turn my cellophane off. It's happening. I've finally got it. We're ready to go. Come on. Uh, let's see. And now, uh, oh, we've got a second camera today. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, yeah. come on, let's all do right. it. Open so, it. This is coming off. I can go away. Yeah. Help me on there, man. It's a big old box as well, isn't it? Good yeah. lordy lord, it is a very big box. What have we got here? So this looks like a lot of rule book. Yeah. It looks like a big, a big ass rule book. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about this it's game, and it is a very big complex game. Yeah. So uh, looking forward to digging into that. Uh, so that can go over there for a moment. Beautiful. We've got the introductory campaign guide. Okay. So that's quite interesting as well. So it's so. going to have some kind of like um, um, scenario that teach you the game, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'd have thought so. Ah, oh, it's designed by Yana. Hello, Yana. Uh, look forward to seeing you at UKG if you're there. That would be good. So there's that. Good. And then what do we have here? We have. Ah, just a little thank, a thank you from uh, Ignacy, the designer of the game. Ah, and, and tells you uh, what all the stuff that is in the... All of the game found exclusive stuff in yep. here. So all of the little overview okay, of that stuff, which is great. And then we have... Okay, I think scenario cards. This okay, like. that's so nice. Scenario well, what type the scenario cards? Wait, wait, wait. We got uh, King Kong Island. The dreadful adventure yeah. on King Kong Island. Cannibal Island. Cannibal yeah. Island. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and then we have... Jenny needs help? No, Volcano Island. In Volcano Island. Of course. Like Volcano Island. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, like Volcano Island. Yeah, Fantastic. Like oh, I don't know. Yeah, you can see them here. Ah, yeah, cool. And castaways as well. Very good. Nice. Seems uh, like, oh, the cursed, different the and cursed, cursed the island. island. Course, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, family Robinson, I guess he's from the... The Robinson the, family, right? The, yeah. Robinson Grusa. Yeah. Cool. Fantastic stuff. We've got some stickers. Stickers. Stickers, I imagine, for various components. We're going to yeah. stick these on there, so probably that, so they can go off to the side. Yeah. And we start with some we start of with the, the actual cardboard. Yeah, some of the punch board, of which I'm assuming there is going to be absolutely tons. Okay. That's cool. Look what they've done here. So you got the, the, QR, the code. QR code to check you can how to use the rules for that specific. Ooh. On the second camera. On the second camera, the yeah. Camera. That's pretty cool, isn't um, it? Interesting. That is yeah. interesting. You can get the rules for this style. Yeah, okay. So this is probably still like Maybe extra, um, content? extra content. Yeah, still. That probably yeah. is. This, I believe, is the Dice Tower. Yep. It's a Volcano Dice Tower. Of course really, it is. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I look forward to assembling that later. So I come off there as well. Mm -hmm. Lots more punch board, and I'm assuming there's going to be tons of this. Ooh, and so actually, a punch board in a in a sealed plastic bag that is uh, not usual, so probably not necessary. They wanted to protect either. it very, very well. So I guess yeah. so, well, okay. yeah. it is protected. Um, cool, so now we're digging into the game itself. Okay. Feels like. That feels like fluff. Okay, yeah. This feels like stuff. Yeah. So here we go, we've got the introductory campaign scenario book. Okay. So we have, I guess, a guide over for okay, this one? Okay, that's just a guide and this, ah, uh, okay. This is uh, very much how you set up your uh, cool. uh, your table, and I guess the yeah the rules for each one of the of the scenario. So very very nice, interesting with the oh uh, yeah with nice the spiral thing. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I really like it. Um, feels very much like um, Jaw of the Lion, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of stuff. Yeah. Really nice quality actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a that's really solid. Good. Yeah, big fan of that. That's that's good. That can pop off to the side. Just and now. then we go. To minis. Now here we go. We've nice. Got, now we're into the plan. So I'm the one who likes minis. This one. And uh, when he don't care much about minis. So no. Are you happy about all these minis? Meh. <laughs> they look so, fantastic. They do look fantastic. So I, I here no, yeah. no. Don't get me wrong. I do like me a good mini. I'm a big fan of Simon games, as yeah. you know, yeah. and they all have yeah. tremendous minis. Yeah. And Awaken Realms also, uh, Ooh, there's a couple of great cool. games that they do, and they do tremendous minis as well. But the thing is, I backed this back in 21. I'm a different man now, it's been two and a half years. But um, I still do love me a good quality mini. Good, good. And I this seems, to be honest, did you want to... Right, let's, let's have a look. look. Let's the... crack it open. Let's Ooh. take a look. There's layers of stuff Ooh, in here. Oh, wow. Uh, some of that on... Oh, nice. Ah, I remember the conversation about this particular mini. Really? Yeah, well, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Internet, but I remember that the uh, 
the lady minis had not much um, clothes on her on the very ah, big, on the first draft on the very first draft, and he created a little bit of um, mm, drama. Too uh, spicy. Fair enough. Fair too enough. Too spicy. But yeah, we have a horse mini. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> there is the camp mini that is actually is really cool. good. Yeah, I'm you to build this. Is it? So you got the camp oh, that cool. you can actually yeah. Oh, is it like different? Different walls and stuff like that. Yeah, it? various bits and bobs. Yeah, oh, yeah. you actually build. Yeah, because you see, you got tents and um, and all the other bits. Yeah, really. Wow, all sorts going really on. Really nice. There is. What else? There is got? tons of stuff in here. Little, wow. little looks like tokens or compasses. Yeah. You've got what is this, Matt? That looks like what that looks like to you. Is that a torch? Uh, yeah, it looks like a looks like a torch maybe. Oh, look at this soldier. Nice. One of the characters there. Really nice. Fantastic. Yeah, this all. I mean, if you're getting, like, yeah. if you're getting a game with miniatures and it's made by Awaken Realms, you know what you, that you're, you're going to get. You're probably getting like, something good. Uh, yeah, and there's. I can criticize Awaken Realms for terrible rule books, but I can't criticize them for amazing production. Yeah, their production I mean, is always amazing. Yeah. And if you didn't know, Portal Games worked with Awaken Realms on this edition. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there is that. So all that's right. Layer now, this, one. This is one layer. Let's, Let's see. Move all that out. Picking this one up. Okay. Okay. And we have what looks like the game board itself. Yep. Oh, okay. nice touch already. Yeah. Like with all the trays ah, where you can actually nice. store your stuff. Nice. Love a storage tray. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Too many games. Uh, too many games. Too many. Um, Publishers will give you a board game with very little in the way of storage. Where yeah. when you punch it out, you can no longer it's fit like, it where, back where in. Where am I going to put all this stuff? Yeah. So I love that they've given you lots of storage. That's yeah. amazing. I mean, yeah. this is an empty store. This is like just, just storage. Just storage. Great. You see, uh, ah, okay. Here is the two of the player uh, boards. Ah, got yes. The explorer and the soldier, and I believe these are the have, last two here. Uh, yeah, yes, nice. the cook and the. Carpenter, fantastic. Double so, layered, uh, yeah, very nice and thick. Yeah, that, yeah, the all double layered and double double -sided. printed. So yeah, um, you got different. Oh, because you got female and male uh, for each one. Oh, great. amazing! Great. That's, this is a great thing. That is I love superb. It. Love I that. love it. Bravo to uh, Portal yes. for that. That's true. Uh, this is really really nice touch because you, yeah, that's brilliant. Should be that. Every game should should have something like that. I agree, that's um, amazing. To see characters, you you need to make characters that you can um, relate to. Relate to. Yeah. And uh, every time it's like, oh, the barbarian is always uh, a big male. Well, why? Nah. Be, I anyway, want, I want my She-Hulk. Anyway, yeah, exactly. I want, yeah, I want that. So, okay, here we go. What else have we got here? In here, okay. we got. Can I open this up, Matt? All yes, right. I can. Yes, so we'll one. take that off. And it looks now what's left is cards mostly. Yeah, cards. Never enough. Never enough of those. <laughs> but, although, to be fair, I have so many in my house now. Oh, I look they, like a drug dealer. Is, I got a drug just now. I literally yeah. look like I'm <laughs> dealing in many illicit substances. There's literally a drawer full of these. So, I uh, have two thoughts on that, Matt. Because those yeah. things is a lot of in here. Is this necessary? Do you think it's, when they've already given us all of this storage? Um, it might be that, because there is a lot of different token and dice. Oh, look, well, we'll, Ooh, we'll open this, the dice, but yeah. uh, I, I do like if they give me little bags to put stuff, because okay. I don't know, you never know. It could be that some cards, you need to take them away from the from the main game, or I don't know, it's hmm. extra storage is never a bad thing, Yeah, I think. Fair enough. And as you can see from here, there is a lot of storage. So plus that layer, which is for yeah. the minis in it, and this little extra bit. So here. it's interesting because it looks like there could be more cards. No, maybe there was another level above where you got extra stuff. Maybe oh, I so, okay. Know. I can't remember. Oh, okay. Point. Yeah, this <laughs> two and a half years. This came out. I was like, let's film before we go. Yeah, because you got one, two, three. Five big decks of cards. Some of them go. What's it gonna be? This one. Caution. This is the tutorial deck. Ooh. So I guess with this one, you gonna like legacy style. I guess is it like mm. uh, it says do not open until. Do you want shuffle. to learn the rules? Playing the ah okay. So this is the campaign deck then. So using Love this that. deck, you will go through the introduction that tells you the rules. 
I always like it when the when they make the uh, the tutorial part of the story part yes. of the of the game. I think that's fantastic. So absolutely, um, big fan of that. Well, what else have we got? Is more scenario stuff or no? Yeah, more, like, I do think. The game decks. Oh, I can get a dog. Oh, you get a doggy! Amazing! <laughs> Frank will be jealous, but uh, good. Cool, yeah, and plenty more cards here. And look, more diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to publish this pre I mean, or before another video that we've got planned. Yeah, you, yeah, we'll talk about diarrhea another time. Another in time. games, in not, game. not like. You don't need yeah. to know about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, that can go back in bugs. Matt, okay, so. Yeah, and that's it. Is there any surprises? Any surprises? Any surprises? No. 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 Publishers, give me a surprise no, at the bottom. No, I always okay, love, I always is. love there is a little like, surprise. Sometimes like a little card or yeah. some silly cookie silly things. But yeah. Okay, something nice. Uh, and some other bits and bobs here as well. So, um, should we take a look at some of these dice and these yeah. tokens, Matt? Let's open this up. So, ah, we've got a giant crab token, of course. Yeah. Uh, that is now my new favourite token. You got crab? I got crab. Not crabs though, internet. Let me know. This fella. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I love cool, it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of a meeple, and uh, meeples can come in so many different types, and I love that. Mm. And a shell, it looks like as well. A nice little shell, shell meeple, a sheeple. Wait, no, that'd be a sheep. Anyway, uh, nice dice, a lot of variety. I think we got twelve dice. They are 11 very dice. pretty dice. Actually, uh, they're like, in, are they engraved? Yeah, they're, wow. they are like heavily engraved. It just like uh, it goes, yeah. Engraved and, and, okay. then, uh, and printed. Yeah. Um, Those are great Interesting, dice. interesting. Hello. Yeah, and they're quite, quite heavy as well, so they're not, they're not cheap dice. Nice dice. Well, that's what you expect after she a couple of years. <laughs> the dice are, um, yeah, Lovely. it seems like very nice. And cool. uh, what else we got? Oh, look at this other sort of bag of tokens. You've got a toast. Toast. No, no. <laughs> this you need to see it. Wait, wait, wait. It does look like a token. Uh, I think, well, this is bread, I guess. Maybe a food token? I don't know, you let me know, internet. What is that? Because then you got... What stupid fan? This is a banana. Th that is probably a banana. A banana meeple. A banipple. So, yeah. Um, yeah, nice, nice little tokens. Cool. So Matt, what do we think about this production? Uh, I think it's very good. I think uh, when Awakened Realms is behind um, a production, they always deliver in terms of quality. Mm. Um, now we will have a good read to the to the actual rule book, and we'll try to play this as soon as possible for yeah. to do a, a proper review. Because um, if it's anything close to the original game, this is going to be amazing. Yeah. Um, so we better. can probably bump up those uh, those those votes on BGG because it's sad when uh, the people. I, I'm always sad with people that work behind this this stuff. That yeah. it's not their fault. If, no, um, exactly. I if mean, the designer uh, wrote an amazing rule book with uh, for an amazing game, it's not their fault that we went a little bit too late. But hey, that's a completely different conversation. Yeah, it is what it is. And like, even aside from production difficulties, Portal did a good job with keeping everyone updated. They're always very open. So, um, and the game is now delivered. They didn't just fold yep. and stop delivering or doing anything like that. The project went through to completion, even despite rising shipping costs, which they ate just yeah. to get this, yeah, just yeah, to get of this across. So, um, and it was straight after pandemic, and well. uh, yeah, it was not the best period for, for any of this. Again, someone will take the blame because, it, yeah, two and a half years for a game that wasn't existed very much ready to yeah. go is, is a lot of time. But the components looks great, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing the game. Oh, it's a little cat. <laughs> <laughs> best bit. Sorry. It's a cat mini. It's a cat mini. <laughs> so, tremendous. Yeah, we're very excited to get this to the table and we'll play through that uh, initial campaign scenario. Yeah. Right? Once we get through all the rest of the games that we have to play as well. The list yeah. is ongoing. Can you take it to the end? Yeah. Let's take it to the end. So that was our unboxing and exploration of Robertson Crusoe Adventures yep. on the Cursed Island. But what did you think? Have you managed to receive your copy yet? I think all of them are delivered at this point, or at least most of them are delivered. Yep. 
Oh, for uh, you. If yeah. you packed it, I really hope that you, you got your copy. And did you fine. review Bomb on BGG? Shame on you. But <laughs> let us know in the comments why you did that, please. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, enlighten me why. And uh, what do you think of this edition? Is it an upgrade over the top, uh, over the first one? Have you managed to get this to the table already? Yeah. If you have, I'm very jealous. Uh, I need. Well, we're going to do it very soon, mate. Very, very soon. soon. Don't worry. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> very soon. Uh, let us know in the comments below. And Matt, what else should the people do? Well, two things. First of all, the most important, as we all know, you need to hit the subscribe button because that's gives you all the news when we when we launch a new and it makes a me new happy. video. Yeah, it makes Wayne really happy. Um, second things, don't forget um, that our sponsor uh, into the AM. Uh, check out the link below for ten percent discount on all the on all the merch, and it's a ten percent discount on top of any other discounts you can find. So uh, do a little browser, a little shopping, have a look what the guys got. But uh, apart from that, I will say this was a. Um, short condensed video but hey hope you you guys liked it absolutely we'll catch you again real soon ciao